Welcome to the Voice of Apache. This continues my series of conversations from the recent Community Over Code event in Bratislava. I've been talking to people from around the Apache software community about their involvement in the foundation, with a particular emphasis on how you, the listener, can also get involved. So here's the next conversation with Phil. Um, hi, my name is um, Philip Ottlinger, also known as Phil. Um, I got involved with Apache Credure project, this release auditing tool that's uh, known by many projects. And I started coming to the ASF just out of curiosity. I heard about it being one of the largest organizations and so on. And wherever I went there, I also took part in some incubating projects, uh, Tamaya that got retired. And uh, wherever I go there, there are always nice people. And uh, they come from all parts of the world, and that makes it a wonderful experience. Just you, you have a problem in your head, write something to the mailing list, then you go to bed. And once you wake up, usually there's someone answering or adding another thought to the stuff you, br you brought about. And that's very, very nice how everything works. They are magically on an international level with all these, yeah, freelance enthusiasts and that's what I really like about the, the whole Apache way. Apart from that, yeah, I'm uh, the PMC, serving as a PMC chair at the moment, which gave me the chance to get to know all these organizational things that have to be done, um, taking care of the projects, hosting everything, and that's how I got in touch um, with the travel assistance program and I was lucky to be able to come here to Bratislava. It's not a long way um, from Berlin, so it's very, very nice to meet all of the people whose code um, you saw before, whose commits you read, whose posts you saw somewhere or read on the mailing list and threads. And that's what I encourage other people to do, take part in this big community. It's like a big, yeah, big family. Everybody is happy open-minded, welcoming, and uh, sharing thoughts, giving you honest feedback, and that's what I really like. You need to have an open mind in order to be able to accept feedback from other people that have various perspectives on the things you think you did, you wrote, and so on. And I guess that openness is the, the door opener, and everything after that is about to happen magically. You don't need specific technical skills, of course you have to be able to read and write, uh, and uh, yeah, but the rest is just honesty and open-mindedness, I guess, that's, that's the biggest asset you have to have, and this will start wonderful discussions about things and will um, yield yeah, new insights into various other problems people are trying to solve, and yeah, that's, I guess, the, the main ingredient, and otherwise, on the, on the other hand, you just have to be curious to get to know new projects, new things, new developments. And this will just, yeah, it's, it's like climbing stairs. You start with only thinking, okay, there's one step I need to take. And then you realize, oh, it's an endless chair, you, you, uh, 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 steps you need to take. You, you don't know where to go to, but you need to be willing to do the next step and the rest is uh, yeah, ha happening. And that's uh, what I guess is, is quite nice. New frameworks on a technical level are going to evolve. You will have new toolings, infrastructure is about to change, and stuff like that. You just need to go with that. But if, once you, if you're curious and are open-minded, that's everything you need, to my mind. It's yeah, the basic ingredients. <laughs> It's not that technical, but what I learned in the past 10 years or so is that the technical level is due to change. You, you cannot resist, you have to go with it. And so the rest is more important to be connected with other people, to see their perspectives, how they're doing things and why. And so you can follow and go with that and then adapt. I, I remember in the first, like 10 years ago when all these microservice stuff, uh, came about people wondering, ah, are we going to survive? Is this all going to eat us or not? And I think um, from a foundation perspective, 
You just need to be there, provide the environment, the infrastructure for people to come together, for projects to evolve, to work with each other. That, that's what, what's needed as a, as a foundation in the true sense of the word. And on that you can build beautiful houses and whatsoever, demolish them and rebuild them or have gardens or spaces where you just talk to each other and others other spaces where you hack and stuff like that. So I think it's a wide variety of things that are built on that foundational level. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>